We need more commanders. These are all shit. Can we get good commanders? No. <laughs> this is pathetic. Oh my god, our choices are terrible. Uh, take this guy, because he exists, and this army just desperately needs anybody. Oh no, they couldn't get in one in time. Whatever, I'll still win, river crossing. And they have like half morale because they're in a retreat. Gracious invitation, thank you. You're a commander now. And build a fort. Strange little man, but very skilled. What is he, a dwarf? He is an ugly dwarf. And he is of a Jewish heresy. Interesting. Uh, true religion of ancient Israelites prior to Babylon's ex exile. Interesting. Uh, preserved by those who remained in the lands of Israel as opposed to Judaism. Uh, so that it's related, altered, amended religion. In game, they're treated as a heresy of mainstream Judaism. This heresy has no formal head and no special game mechanics. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm fine with him, right? Is he? Oh, but he's... Oh, he's a renowned physician. He's not very smart, but he, at least he's a renowned physician. I'll take him. Take what I can get. I do need to give away some of my land soon. It's not good for our money owning this much land. Also, that assassination just went through, didn't it? Yeah. Nice! Now they have a small child who is ineligible for the vote. Uh, and once again, someone has more respect than us by a little bit. So we'll just bump up our respect slightly. Also, we really need that money to win this election. The money we lose on the election is worth it. Because we, we get more than we lose, you know? By being king or being the grand prince, that makes us a lot of money. You gonna get in yet? Not yet, okay. Ransom who you can. I want to make some money here. Also, uh, keep trying to assassinate people. Even if it's not the highest chance in the world. Maybe people will change minds and want to kill them later. Right, uh, so we own too much land. Do we own anything I really don't care about? Like, this, this place here is worth almost no money. It's just a, a castle and a town. I'll just give away both. I'll just create a new vassal for that. And this place I'll give to someone. Um, I'll give it to my heir. Yeah, give him uh, Boito. Yeah, there you go. Now I don't own too much land. You have a new heir. What? This guy. He's, he's older. Where did he come from? He's a kinsman. How is he related? He's Slavic, and he's not from my country. What? Why is this guy ineligible? Chat, why the hell is this guy ineligible now? Do they have to not own land? Is that a rule? Is it gonna matter that he's not in my country? I'm worried about this. Well, it can't matter that he's not in my country. I don't know. Hmm. Are you planning on doing a multiplayer livestream someday with your fans and followers of CK2? Oh, I don't know. It might be because he has land? Why, though? Does anyone know the rule on that? Ah, uh, fuck off, Novgorod. Um, does anybody know why on that? Like, is there like a wiki entry or something about that? Because I'm getting concerned. I'm worried that there's going to be some kind of inheritance issue. That or it'll bring that land into my country? I don't know. I can always just become Jewish when I win the election. If I win. Dump a little more money on that. I'm scanning the wiki now. Thanks, Hernandez. Oop. What's this? Okay, successfully sown distrust. Good. God, we need to end this war already. Siege leader, hell yeah, finally. We got siege leader tra trait on someone. That's such a good trait. Okay.
Okay, yep, you're paying the ransom. Good. I think they're all ransomed by the same guy, so I gotta just talk to the same guy over and over. Greatest time together. Cool. My grandson. Who I just gave land to and he just shaved his head? No, that's a different guy. Yeah. Since you have an empire, he will just inherit the empire even if he's in a different land. Okay. Interesting. That's so strange. Why did he become ineligible? That is so odd to me. He's still part of the same family. Is it because he owns a county? Is he allowed to just own, like, a, a single barony that's not the capital of the county? Maybe? I don't know. That seems very weird to me. Okay, well... We're still winning the, uh, the electoral race right now by a decent amount, actually. I'm gonna take back some of my funds there. I gotta keep a close eye on that, though, because we seriously could die at any moment. We're 60 years old and we're stressed. We have some negative health things, so I gotta really keep an eye on that. Make sure no one, like, jacks up the, uh, their campaign fund last minute and usurps it. Oh, they changed this menu a bit, too. That's fascinating. Oh, that's interesting. Rabbis of the Realm can give me piety. Hmm. Man, that patch was bigger than I thought it was. Air needs to have no land. Ooh. Since you have an empire... Oh, yeah, I double read that. Okay, so is that what the wiki says? Like your heir has to not be a landowner? Can I revoke his land? I guess... No, it'd be tyrannical. Fuck. Okay. Not that I don't necessarily like this. Ah, uh, this heir is actually really crap. Never mind. He's sturdy, which is cool, but it's not the biggest thing. He's dull and arbitrary. He's... Okay, he's a really shit heir. From the wiki, do not give your heir landed titles, otherwise he won't be able to inherit. Hard-coded to prevent AI from accidentally destroying the Merchant Republic. Fuck, I wish I knew that before. What a weird rule. Alright, this war is over, though. There. Oh, wow, he's not paying the fee. Interesting. Okay, there we go. We've taken a lot of land this episode. Now, some of these people don't want to pay the ransom. Uh, some host is declaring in the Holy, Holy Roman Emperor. That's fine. And the heir's wife has bad genetic traits. Great. Uh, become diligent. Sure. Diligence, cool trait. Okay, some of them are paying the ransom now. Keep bribe or keep doing the ransoms. I need that money. Okay, it is still my guy. Not by a lot, though. This guy's beating us in... Not age! He is quite young, thankfully. He's only 18. He's got campaign funds, mostly. And prestige helps him, yeah. I'm killing everyone else in campaign funds, though. I have the most campaign funds, because I'm the wealthiest. Revoke his land? I can't. It'd be tyrannical. I have no justification. Yeah, I've got no justification to revoke his land, which is really a shame because I'd rather him get elected because at least he has good intrigue for keeping the others in line. Fuck, I wish I could undo that. Uh... Bummer. All right, well, there's those raiders over there. I'm going to get in position to go take care of that. I do have a little bit of Jewish land now, though, which is very cool. I mean, you're old and gonna die soon anyway. I still don't want to risk that. Then I'll just get an independence faction that I won't be able to deal with. Oh god, I forgot, chat. I've been able to change a law for a while now. I might want to just shift towards Levy more for internal and external stability. At the same time, there's a lot we care about right now. Like, we really want to start shifting council laws to eventually abolish the council. Fabricate the claim on, uh, on him. Yeah, I could. Is that really my best move, though? That's expensive and very luck-based. And that would take away from my ability to take Bohemia back. I forgot about those raiders. <sighs> 
I have to raise Levy to deal with that. I'll, I'll deal with that later. Um, what's even my percent chance of fabricating a claim? 20% a year. Almost 20% a year. That's not worth it to me. Not right now. See if buying favors helps the vote uh, for the council depowering shit. Um, that would help the vote if I needed help with the vote, but I don't need help with the vote because I have loyalists. Um, if it's a tie, ruler wins. And so it's me, my three loyalists versus four other people. And so I'd win. In the case of a tie, uh, whatever the ruler proposed wins. So I don't need any favors for that. Um, none of these I desperately need right away. I just need to do all of them so that I can eventually abolish the council. Whereas the levy thing is probably going to pay off more immediately. I'm going to do the levy one. Then get revocation. That's not how that works, though, Andre. Um, revocation is whether I have uh, council approval to revoke something. That doesn't make it not tyrannical, though. Even if they approve, and they did approve of me, um, they approve of me revoking from this guy. Uh, however, I can't revoke because I gave to him too early. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Either way, it'd be tyrannical because we wouldn't have justification. You still need justification, which we don't have. Um, council consideration, yeah, they'd all vote yes, and they don't know about- these are all undecided, but probably some of them will probably say no. Just so you don't have to deal with them. That- that doesn't- that'd be spending money for no reason. Uh, that's- that's not- in the long run it probably helps- no, in the long run I will have spent money for literally no reason. Cause I- they can't outvote me right now. It's impossible. And that's for free. Uh, because we'd tie. Just got done watching one of my Civ videos. Ah, oh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's let's do this. I'm gonna propose the vote. They could potentially do a favor now to sway it the other way if they were to do a favor right now. But there's absolutely no way you can see that coming or stop that if they do the favor after the vote's already started. Um, so I don't really have control over that. That's unfortunate if that happens. Uh, except paying ransom. Beautiful. And how am I doing on this murder plot? Uh, if I get a spy master, they'd be good. I could get her for only 15. There we go. That'd bring us up over 100. The more of these dudes we kill, the lower we can make the campaign funds. The more money we can reinvest in the country instead of just trying to win the election with it. Uh, people are joining the defensive pact against me. And my threat is actually really high, 46%, almost 47. Yeah, yeah, they're getting that. How's uh, Lithuania looking, by the way? Uh, yeah, they're Polish of culture, they're Slavic. Free captives, forced vassalization, which I could. Although, they have this massive defensive pact against me that I do not want to deal with. Lost our marshal. That's a shame. We had an okay marshal. It's also a shame that's happening during a vote because it would be an auto no. Uh, so that sucks. Now, an auto no, we'd still win the vote because of what I was talking about earlier. About on a tie, uh, the ruler wins. But still. Okay, this guy's talented enough. We'll take him. And he'll just keep organizing the army like before. It's approved. Good. There we go. And we're not allowed to do the next one until legalism five or higher. Got it. So yeah, for anyone who doesn't know what this is, by the way, and what we're doing here, we're shifting noble tax so that they pay less money and they pay more levy, levy being their troops. So they're paying us, the people who own castles, those would be the nobles, the people who own castles, they're paying us through tax less of their income and gold, but more of their troops, which is good because castles excel at getting troops, not gold. They make an oak, they make a little gold eventually, um, but they don't make um, they make a little bit of gold, but they make a lot of troops more than any other building type. So that's why I want the most troops out of them. We get the most bang for our buck there. The gold we're going to get from the burgers, which are city owners, mayors and stuff. That's where we want to get our gold from. That and our trade routes and all of that and just quantity of things. Whereas cities, um, cities are quite bad at raising a large army. So we're fine with lowering the levy of them. 
but our 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 personal uh domain troops we can get up to 3000 right now that's just reinforcing very slowly right now and from our vassals maximum and we're almost at our maximum is about 4000 right now plus we have three and a half thousand from our retinue that goes up to about 4200 when it's fully reinforced some are just still dead from the war so that's reinforcing and then we have a small fleet mostly our own personal holdings actually which is cool Okay, are we still winning the election right now? Yes, but not by much. I gotta really keep an eye on that. Oh, he's got four out of three. I don't know how he did... Oh, a few of them have four out of three. How'd they do that? Yeah, I don't know how they did that. That's odd. Possibly a bug. Carrying out my duties of the Champions of Purin. I can't believe we still are a member of the Champions of Purin. Can you believe that this guy has been around so long that he was alive when we were still a tribe. Uh, never ended well, when hard-pressed uh, to find more unsympathetic character. Can become a better rival of someone or lose some renown? Just lose the renown, I don't care about the renown. Can I become the champion now? No, they still don't have an opening. You can do a duel to become the champion or a champion. But if there's, if there's an opening, you can just do it for free, which I'd rather do. Because then I don't risk death. I guess Piran's Jewish now. Guess so. I'm really keeping an eye on this. I'm seriously concerned about them just edging up above us right before the death. What's your favorite dynasty to play as? I... No favorite dynasty? I... I play... I don't know. Different parts of the world is fun. I don't really care about what the family is. Great, more taxes for me. Yes, the craftsmen that you funded a couple of years ago have returned to tell you of their success. Uh, so they gave us 100 gold up front, which gives me 50 gold on top of what I spent. Uh, so I, I got um, more money back than I spent. And city tax also goes up for, it looks like 10 years in a city. That's cool. We actually have a little bit of money if we want to spend a little again. For the sake of safety, I'm going to put another 50 in the campaign fund again, just... You know, to have a safe head above the uh, opponent. And do I want to upgrade this more right now? I don't really have the money to go spending on that right now. Because I got to hold on to some money for mercenaries in case the worst happens. Some acquaintance that I have never seen in my life just died. Sound like he fell off a castle. Okay. Celebrate Passover. Um... It would make people like me more. Which might help me with the with the murder plot, actually. Can I just there. That'll get that'll get us up above 100. Uh, do I want to celebrate Passover? You know what? I will celebrate Passover. It's 50 gold, and it makes every single Jewish lord who shows up like me more for a year. So it's cool. Uh, how far does this game go into the timeline? Uh, it goes till 1454, I think it is. 1454, 1455, something like that. And uh, when it ends, it ends. You know, gives you your score. We've already read those events a bunch of times next time. Jerusalem, there we go. Get 100 prestige, 100 piety, which is minor, but it's kind of nice. And all the people who showed up like me buy 10 more for a year, which I think is worth the 50 gold if your income is decent. Oh, uh, looks like they're taking care of Well, I'm already locked in. Yay. Victory. And he's out of my land now, so we'll just march back up into a generally central part of the land so we can run in whatever direction we need to. Jewish Corter appeared. Cool. Is he good? He's an administrator. Gives him movement speed if he's a commander. He is overall nothing special. Cool. All right. Lame. Found out there's a chronicle book in the right corner next to the ledger. The ledger's down here, right? Yeah, chronicle. Oh. I actually didn't know about this. I can export it as a text file. That's cool. Uh, apparently it... Oh, no, it does have new entries. Okay. I was gonna say it has no entries since, uh, ever. It's the newest entry. There's gotta be a better way to navigate this. 
Oh, just about, yeah, it's, it's not actually that interesting. Yeah, it's just like winning wars and stuff. Yeah, it's not that interesting. It's all stuff you've seen because you watched it. Uh, join the defensive pact opposing me. Oh, the Pope did. Interesting. Yeah, the Pope probably doesn't have a high opinion of me, does he? Nope. He's a zealot. When can I ch change my next law? 898. Right, because when you're changing tax laws, it only takes five years rather than ten to be able to change again. Not what I had planned. What is this? Receive Rizzi, your chancellor is trying to agitate my nobles by spreading lies. Ah, he's furious with me. For two years, the Holy Roman Emperor is going to like me a lot less. That's not good. I don't want him to not like me. He's already a zealot. Did he kill my spymaster? He killed my chancellor. What a bastard. I have a backup who's pretty good. Although he's going to be a malcontent. Oh, he's almost definitely going to be a malcontent. Lame. Can I get a better one? I can get a slightly better one. We'll take him. Yeah, the HRE hasn't blown up yet. Usually it does. Much easier than this. Here we go. So he's, he's just religious, right? Yeah, he's a zealot. So he'll just vote along religious lines. I'm... That doesn't really bother me too much. I prefer pragmatists. If it comes to, like, ones that aren't directly positive, pragmatists are usually not annoying. Glory hounds are sometimes not annoying. Malcontents are annoying because they just hate your guts and vote against you constantly. Uh, loyalists are obviously the best one because they'll just vote for you on basically everything. I don't think I've ever seen a, uh, a loyalist not vote for whatever I told them to. <clears throat> All right, back to sowing descent. There we go. Uh, it takes five years if you cancel, ten years if you change laws, if you don't have an empowered council, right? Yeah, that's it. That's like the one good thing of an empowered council. And it's still not worth it. Empowered council sucks. I hate empowered council. But that's it for this episode. Uh, I gotta get editing already. I think that was a pretty fun stream. Um, I need to get back to work on some stuff, though. So what I'm gonna do... We're going to go ahead and raid uh, Ambiguous Amphibian. He's a cool guy. We want to do some stuff together. If those of you who found me through Project Zomboid, you might know him because he's big in the Project Zomboid community. He's a really cool guy. Uh, we want to do some stuff together, probably on that and Seven Days to Die because I'm learning that game. So that's going to be fun. Um, and yeah, normally I stream this every single Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. This was a Saturday. It was a special thing because of WrestleMania, though. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching live. And until next time, have a nice day.